check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Welcome back, everybody, to Sharp Prospects. We have our special guest here in the hot seat answering for us some rapid fire fan questions. Now, just so we can all review the rules for a second, we're just going to spit these questions as fast as we can. And whatever our special guest can get within the short period of time to answer those questions, we will rack up that point system. And whatever they miss, we're just going to keep it moving, see how they do and fare against the other guests we've had on the show today. So without further ado, let's get into it. <clears throat> Here we go. Are you ready? Okay. Favorite cartoon as a child? Favorite cartoon as an adult? Love language? Cake or pie? Favorite cuisine? Favorite language? Something you're learning right now? Something you've been proud of? Someone you've been proud of. Superstitions? Spirit animal. Pet peeve? Going out to eat or take out? Kisses or hugs? Casual or fancy? YouTube or Netflix? Popcorn or candy? Coffee or tea? Favorite part of your body? Hair preference, air dried or styled? Mountains or beach? Bus or train? Group road trips or solo? Stuffed animal or blanket? It's a cute question. Favorite part of your personality? Favorite self care practice? Advice for your fans? Excellent job. All right, everybody, give it up once more for our special guest in the hot seat, and we'll be back tomorrow with more Sharp Prospects. But hard to find another one cuter than this one, am I right? <laughs> All right, everybody, cut. Excellent work, team. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yes, please, de -mic me. Oh, that's going to feel so good. <sighs> Bye, thank you. Yeah, great work, everybody. <clears throat> oh, oh, no, I'm, I'm so sorry. Everybody gets stuck in the hot seat. It just kind of sinks them in here. Let me um, take my hand. I'll help you up. <laughs> um, really great work today. Really, um, you know, we don't, we don't get a lot of really um, personable special guests and... Um, Handshake? <laughs> um, we, we would be happy to have you back anytime. You, um, you've got a really great personality. And um, you did do well in those rapid fire questions. You know, those are really hard. Um, generally, our special guests fold or just kind of, you know, rattle off about nothing through the rest of the questions. But um, you did really great. So uh, thank you. Thank you for being so professional and respectful to everybody on set. You know, everybody, everybody's had really great things to say about how kind you've been. Um, you know, hair, makeup, loved working with you. And um, best of luck. I'll be, I'll be following your career. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, thank you for demiking me. That's, oh, that's great. <laughs> oh, hey, are, are you lost? I, this place can be a maze sometimes. I'm, I can be happy to get a PA to walk you out. Oh, you're not lost. Oh, then can I help you? Um, are are you waiting for someone? I'm just sort of um, I'm just sort of dotting some eyes and crossing some T's before I leave. Um, actually, you know, I'm I, I'm I'm I, I'm working. I mean, listen, I'm I'm working all day. I'm, I mean, I'm off. I am off in a little bit, yes, but I've got, um, I always have a lot on my plate, so I'll be, I'll be, um, 
preparing for tomorrow and some I have some personal projects that I I'm, I've been trying to really dig into so I um I respect we share ambition in common you're very positive energy and I am and in the name of ambition um I will have a PA show you out and I'll have to Uh, yeah, well, I'm. I mean, of, of course, I'll have to eat at some point. I'm only human, but. Um. I'm not. Yeah, can, can I just pull you into this corner for a second? I just don't want um, anybody to be eavesdropping any more than they already have been here. Come in. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to tug your shirt like that. Um, I hope I didn't. Stretch it out. Look, um, okay, okay, here's the thing. I like you. You seem, you've been very respectful all day, and you seem very personable and, and kind, and um, you, you seem like a genuine person. But um, what I'm about to tell you is very, I know that, I know that it's unfair what I'm about to tell you. And, um, and, and I, I, I would say I'm sorry, but I, I, um, you just, you'll understand once I spit it out. Um, I, I don't trust famous people as a general rule. I don't. And yes, I, I'm no, I'm not like, but I'm not you famous. I'm, I'm recognizable. Um, in certain spaces, but even then, you know, the, you shouldn't trust me either, to be perfectly honest. Because I'm shooting a show here. And anything you say or do could be used against you. I mean, we're just trying to get really great sound bites and we're just trying to get views on our channel. So, like, this conversation is, while it's, while it's very, while it's nice, it's not smart. It's not smart that we should be talking. And I, I know that you understand that. Because you don't know me. And I don't know you, to be perfectly honest. I mean, we've only known each other for, what, like a couple of hours on set? In a very controlled environment. I know nothing about you. And to be perfectly honest, I follow your line of work, and some some of it is a little bit concerning. And I, I understand that there is, there's oftentimes a separation between you know, the art and the artist, but how much can there really exist? You know, I know that it, art requires oftentimes, well, it doesn't require you all choose to flex on it. Um, I know there are certain demographics you all are trying to dip into. The point is, I don't know you. I don't know you at all. And, well, there's, um, I, I enjoy your company. Um, I enjoy your energy. And I appreciate the invitation. But I feel like it's just, it's risky. And then I understand that I... I <laughs> yes, I understand that I don't know you. And in order to get to know you, I would have to put in the time. Um, I would have to put in that quality time. But... I don't know, are you, are you worth it? Are you worth the risk? It just feels like the safest thing to do for both of us is to just end here. Um, is to just end here. If you'd like to come back to the show, that would be fantastic. Everybody loved you. Um, you're getting great ratings, and I enjoyed you professionally. But as far as personally speaking, um, I just don't know that that's a line that we should cross. I have a general rule. I have a general rule. But, you know, I guess, I mean, you are right. I am becoming more recognizable by the day. And I, and the personal projects I'm working on, assuming they do well, that will only 
make me more recognizable. And then like, I wonder, you know, folks that are so recognizable, you know, people like you, like, how do you make friends? How do you connect with people? How do you date? Because at a certain point, how do you trust anybody? Um, but I guess that's not so different. I guess that's not so different than just general people experiences, right? I mean, I guess we can never predetermine who to trust until we get to know somebody. And that includes fame. No, but you know what? Y'all are a different breed, though. I mean, I haven't changed yet, but I might change. I just wonder at a certain point if everything get, becomes really fast, if you become really accustomed to fast demand on everything in life, that, that just does something to a person. But you're entirely right. This is all speculation. And it's not fair to speculate that you wouldn't wield your new... To, I mean... You've been at it for a minute, but I'm, I guess some people are just either going to wield power responsibly or irresponsibly. And, you know, I once had a friend tell me that they, their theory on fame is that it, it doesn't actually change people. It just amplifies what's already there. Um, and I, I think that the, I, you know, I haven't like run any studies on this or anything, but I think that theory checks out. You understand. I know you understand where I'm coming from, and I appreciate you understanding where I'm coming from. And like I said, this is equally as risky for you. You know, let's say we're out and you drop something about your family that you you never want to air, and I'm recording or I write it down, and we had, we address it the next time you're on the show or we put out an article. I mean, you are very vulnerable to be conversing with me to be conversing with anybody that can monetize off your time and your image and your name. <sighs> Which makes this a very brave thing for you to do. So, and I respect that, I honor that. I don't, I don't, I don't owe you anything. I don't, that doesn't make you entitled to my, that doesn't make you entitled to my time and energy. Um, but, I just need to think for a second. I just I'm just very distracted by you. Not you know yes 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 I am I'm very distracted by you. I think that should be obvious. Okay, here here's the deal. If we're gonna do this, we're gonna have to do this my way, okay? Now, if you're gonna take me out, you're not gonna take me somewhere to impress me. You're not gonna take me somewhere just to to show me how cool you are or how much money you have. No 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 no. You're gonna take me somewhere that means something to you, okay? Now that may manifest itself in a really nice place. That may be, you know, the the fancy bar that you now celebrate in every single time um, you hit a milestone. Um, or it could be that hole in the wall dive bar that you used to enjoy, you know, working on um, your original, your original projects at before you were famous. I mean, or it could be just a restaurant where, you know, the whole wait staff and everybody loves you and it's kind of your sanctuary, or maybe, maybe you love a certain activity, like, like, um, I don't know, billiards, or darts, like take me to go learn how to sh play darts. And then you can tell me why it is that you've been attracted to that activity. The point is, I have, I mean, no offense. I have no interest. I have full professional interest in the special guest of the day, but I have no personal interest in the special guest. I only have personal interest in you. I am interested in the person who's standing before me right now, as opposed to the special guest who is in the hot seat. I have no interest in that person. That person can come back to the show anytime. Here, I have full interest in that person, but outside of this studio, I only have interest in you if I will be spending my personal time on you, with you. Do you follow? And I'm going to expect some vulnerability. I'm going to expect story time. I'm going to expect some explanation as to why you chose the place that you did. Okay? I need to get to know who you are first. Um... 
consider this consider this a screening because I, I haven't met I haven't I don't know anything about that person yet I only know special guest hot seat person I don't know this person that's talking to me right now um, and we're still in the studio so just consider this this will be kind of like as opposed to a first date this will be more like a first meet um, and we can just feel each other out from there okay okay I am um, I do like to eat earlier on in the evening um, but of course I don't want to c completely monopolize this experience I, I appreciate that yeah thank you that's okay how do we feel about sex to meet somewhere um, by the way, I'm not giving you I'm not giving you my cell number. I have a work number that I will give you. Um, I, I I appreciate you reading the room. I appreciate your understanding. <sighs> okay, here we go. <laughs> I am nervous. You should know that off the bat. Okay, um, I will, um, see you at six. Um, you think, take your time and you think about where you'd like to take me and, um, I'll be there. Okay. It's great having you on the show today. Thank you. <laughs> see you soon. <laughs> 